Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can make sure you don't overpay when you buy your next home. And stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'll let you know how you can order a report on how to save thousands of dollars when you buy a home. I'm Dwight Strew with the Dwight Strew Real Estate Team. Let's get started. One of the most common questions I get asked when working with clients buying a home is, how much will the home sellers come down on average off their asking price? Well, my response is to let them know what the statistical average is, but I also caution them not to put too much or really any value in that figure. And here's why. Let's say that according to MLS statistics, that sellers are on average coming down 3% off their asking price. Well, remember, that's an average. So there will be some that come down 5%, 10%, maybe even 20% off their asking price. Of course, that also means there are some sellers who are getting more than their asking price in order to arrive at that average of 3%. So the 3% figure is really irrelevant. Instead, I encourage them to consider the true value of the property, not the asking price when they're considering how much to offer. The asking price only tells us how much a seller wants for their property. It does not necessarily indicate market value. Let me use an example to illustrate. If a seller overprices their home by 10%, which is not uncommon by the way, and you offer 3% less, well then you're overpaying by 7%. But what if a seller is motivated and has priced his property for a quick sale, let's say 10% below market value? Well in that scenario, even if you paid full price, you're still getting a really good deal. In fact, you could pay somewhat over the asking price and still be getting a good deal. So bottom line, when you're deciding how much to offer on a property, it's important you do your homework first. Have your agent research and prepare a market analysis of similar homes that have sold recently. Not homes currently for sale, because all that tells us is what those sellers want. What's more important is the homes that have sold, because that tells us what other buyers have actually paid for similar properties. And that tells you where the true market value of the property is. Now, you'll also want to consider other factors when determining your offer, such as how long has the home been for sale? Have there been any recent price reductions? Do you know the seller's motivation? And of course, how much do you want this property? Now, as I promised, if you'd like to order a free report called How to Save Thousands of Dollars When You Buy a Home, please click on the link on the screen. And if you like this video, please subscribe, share it, click on the bell. And of course, I'd love to read your comments on this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.